Hello everyone and welcome back to Learning L5R. This is game three of the series in which I'll be playing Scorpion and Steven will be playing the Crane Clan. Crane Crane. And if you're unaware, the Learning L5R series is really a, an entry point once you have your core sets for the Legend of the Five Rings LCG or just before you get your core sets and allows you to watch the, the clans in play, provide some deck lists and let you just kind of jump right in as soon as, the, as soon as you have your starters. Something else worth mentioning, Zach, is that I have been uh, losing. <laughs> Game over. Oh, well, game, that's a spoiler. If you haven't seen the other ones, this is a spoiler alert. Yeah, so game three, hopefully I can do Crane Justice. Now, I think this is going to be actually a really fascinating game. I know that playing against Scorpion for the first few times, I'm probably going to lose because it feels very much like that kind of clan or that kind of entity in a game that is doing a lot of tricky things that really just pants you until you are prepared. Right? So I don't know how this is going to work out. I know that I'm going to have some moments of complete and utter devastation. But also, clan uh, dishonoring is a big deal for the, the Scorpion clan. And, and playing with that and then honor is a big deal for the Crane clan. And then you have benefits for having, essentially being less honorable, for having less on your honor dial. I have benefits for having more honored characters. So... I, <laughs> At some points, it's kind of a counter, but at other points, it's because I can honor so much stuff, maybe I can fight off the dishonoring tactics that the Scorpion has. Sure, I think, I think that's what makes this matchup particularly worth checking out, right? Because your strength is in an area where I'm trying to leverage my strength. And so instead clash. of... The, yeah, instead of... It's sort of like a, you know, in a football game when there's a good offense and a good defense on the separate teams and then the other sides of the field aren't as good. So you, you just kind of even the field and we'll kind of see how it goes. The so first thing we do before we do anything. First player? First player. I'm gonna flip a coin and let you pick. A lot of questions about this. That's right. So technically in the documentation, you were supposed to randomly select a first player. So like at the opening tournament, there was a lot of questions about is random giving somebody a choice or is random just randomly deciding it? And I think that the general consensus was it shouldn't be a choice. Well, and that is true in the rule book, <laughs> but then in the other rule book, which is how to run a tournament, uh, apparently it's whoever wins the flip gets to make the decision. Okay. So do you want to play by the rule book or do you want to play by the rule book part <laughs> or the rule two? Book. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's play by the rule book part two. We'll give right, you a I'll, I'll let you pick if you, whoever wins. All right. All right, you ready? Yes, blue. Yeah, red. Uh, I will let you go first. I feel like I always would do that because extra fate up front is so now, critical. I do think I went first in both the other games that I won. So maybe not so critical. Ooh, I hate going first. All right, so now we're gonna do our provinces. We gotta yep. pick one of these to put under our stronghold, which I will do I picked secretly. Mine there. And I'm gonna shuffle the rest up so you don't know where they're at. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Neither do I. All right, then we'll fill our provinces and get our standard. Oh wait, shuffle. I guess we want to shuffle first. Yeah, we do want to shuffle. We, we didn't do some of that pre-camera yeah. though. If, if you need a, we'll a lesson on how to shuffle, go back to video <laughs> two. We, we went into that for some reason. Catch the upcoming video. Shuffling cards for 30 minutes. 101. Exactly. It's the eight techniques for shuffling collectible games. There are a lot of techniques. Yeah. I mean, it's been studied. That yeah. whole 52 card deck, if you shuffle it once, it's never in the same orientation that it's ever been before or ever will be kind of stuff. The stats people know those kind of things. Yeah, right. Yeah. A lot of the shuffling techniques come out of the collectible history too, where you have cards that are worth a considerable amount of money that you don't want all bent up. But Pick a door, All right, choose let's a door, see. do you drop the door or I'm not? I'm gonna do the thing where I do this so I can see them all. Yeah, I like that, wow. I think they're smart to do that. Ooh, man, I love this start. That's so fun. Definitely keeping her. Wow. <laughs> man. That could be awesome. I don't think she's good early. I'm gonna mulligan these two. So fill from left to right, provinces, and then shuffle the mulligan cards back in. Tough choice over there. Yeah, it is. Oh, I wish I had that one more fate. I need eight to really just make this Thing. Awesome. Yeah, and I, you know, that's the problem. I ultimately sometimes don't play really with any kind of grand strategy in mind. I'm just trying to make all the <laughs> effects trigger, which is a good that's way to a, that's start. That's a way right? to play it. So I'm not going to mulligan anything. We'll just take it as we. All right, as now onto the it. conflict deck. Draw four and selective mulligan again. I, lo I love the mulligan rule in this game. That's good. Also good. What did I get over here? Okay, I'm gonna mulligan two of these. Hmm. Oof, I really do want to keep one though. 
All right. Yeah, I'll just mulligan the one. I'm going to mulligan one as well. All right. Shuffle her back in. All right. So mulligans happen. I guess that means it's time to dive in. Yeah, I think so. Start from the top with ye old uh, grabbing the honor first. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Bef start from the very top. So I only have 10. I start out. Hey, I start with 11. Dishon well, that's honorable. That's cool. Yeah, it's like the uh, effects that are in your deck trigger off of you being less honorable to me. Hmm. Wouldn't you know that See? I just pulled 11 right off the top there? It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> it is a true miracle. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get my fate here. All right, so technically we're supposed to reveal all of our face downs and then collect fate. All right. So Will that ever matter? Maybe. That. I guess when something's revealed, it could affect your fate total. Two brash samurais. Storyteller and the doji. What, so here's, what, is, what does the brash samurai do? Well, so here's what I was thinking, right? So the brash samurai, when it's the only participating character, you get to honor it as an action. So that's great. And then the storyteller, all of your honored characters gain sincerity. Uh, so you did I would have, have considered an eight play, just push these three out, honor, honor, get Draw. two cards for the trouble, and three when he goes away. Yeah, I mean, you ultimately would. But is that even two good? honor and three cards? Is that even good? I mean, I don't know. And you also got your champion over there. What's the champion's ability? After you claim a ring during a political conflict in which this character is participating, resolve that ring's effect. Wow. You usually get it twice. That can that be nice? br brutal. Two, four, six, eight. All right, two, two we seven. Six, seven. You wish you had eight. All right, and I am the first player. Given that I am the first player, I will play the first character. We will pay two for a brash samurai. I will invest nothing in said samurai, although I really would like to. And I'll pass it over to you. All right, let's pay one for my Tomo Cordier. I think that's how you say it, Cordier. I always get caught up on that word. And do I want to invest? I don't want to invest, no. No investment. Okay. I'm going to pay four for the storyteller. And I will go ahead and invest one there. I feel like I have a bit of a draw engine here. So that seems pretty good. I'm looking at it, and really what's going through my head here is like, if I can get some use out of the Brash Samurai, get the honor, goes away, gets the storyteller ability, I get to draw a card. The next turn, I get another Brash Samurai, do the same thing, plus the storyteller drawing two cards. So it's going to allow me to go a little lower on the dial, I think, which is going to be good against Scorpion, because you've got all that ugh, sinister, weird stuff going on over All there. the weird stuff. It's a cool aesthetic, though. Yeah. I mean, you can't I'm going to pay one it. for the sinister Soshi. Oh, man. It has an action that can give these a character are, minus two, minus two. These are awful. <laughs> Why are you writing all of just like the disgusting cards? Scorpion, man. I don't like that at all. Huh. All right, uh, I will pass. I'm gonna gain a fate here. Four passing. Okay, I will play the Shosuro Actress for three, and I will definitely be investing. Has an action during a conflict, sacrifice this character, choose a non-Shinobi character with a printed cost three or lower in the opponent's discard pile. Put that character into play in the conflict under your control. Interesting. So a couple of, of things to consider there, right? I don't have a discard pile right now, so right. that's not so good. Also, potentially not making the mistake I did during the Crab Clan video, do you really want to invest fate in a character you're going to sacrifice? That's right. But you kind of have to wait out my discard pile getting filled with stuff. That is the balance. And I, I will invest a little bit, uh, so I'm going to pay one. Biting time. To invest in the actress. Got to put on a show. Okay. Uh, so I'm all passed. Are you going to keep going? You want to bring the other uh, Soshi out? You're holding two for shenanigans? I'm going to pass. Yes. Yes, <laughs> I am holding two for the old shenanigans. Uh, so we'll both pass. We're going to move on to the draw phase. Grab your dial. Oh, See, man. this is tough. So we, we had some people asking questions. Why would you ever not both bid five? That's a good question. Right. So the reason is that the difference gets paid to the other player. In honor. Um, in honor. So if I bid one and Zach bids five, he gives me four honor. And you imagine that happens once, then you play like, let's say, an assassination, and now all of a sudden you're pretty close to losing, right? Well, then you can't play an assassination. Can't play an assassination. You At can't bid high in your honor dial, these kinds of things. So sometimes you got to play it conservative, and it's yeah. about what, you're, what is your deck wanting to do? Like, if I, like, let's say, have to give Zach two honor here, how much of an impact does that have on me? 
I know that Scorpion has a lot of cards that say if you have less honor than me, you Including get to trigger my stuff. City of the Open Hand Strong. So I might want to give you Probably some yeah, some honor to kind of get your total up, but then I'm sure you can use it for nasty effects, and you're going to be disowning my opponent, my my guy. So I don't want to have honor going down the drain. It is a fine balance. Um, so we both random or no randomly, we both secretly zoom. select privately select. A number on the dial, and then we reveal simultaneously. All right, Ready? Well, let's just see how this goes. What do you yeah. got? I'm going to do three. I'm going to do four. Right down the middle. Okay. So any reactions to the, the reveal? I don't have... Now, that is important because you actually might have a lot because I know Scorpion messes with that dial a lot. I have no uh, new actions. I don't either. So We actually, important to note, whoop, we reveal whoop. the dials, we transfer honor, we draw cards, then there's an action window. Is that, isn't that insane? All right. right. Then I will... Wait, why are you giving me honor? You're drawing I, four. Yeah, I don't oh, draw right. more cards. So yeah, <laughs> if you get to draw Thanks. more cards and get the honor, that would be a uh, slightly strong. I would love that. All right, so I'll draw three. Mm, I'm seeing all the good cards this game. This is uh, whoa. Well, now I just have too many options. Wow, I I I uh, don't even know what to say here. Watch out! <laughs> here comes the scorpion. He stings. All right, so now do you have any actions? I don't. Okay. So now, I, I will note here, that's why I was asking. So, a reaction happens in a non-action window, potentially, which is yes. like the uh, contingency plan is a reaction to these being revealed, in which case you can actually move your dial down one, increase or lower it by one, and you can actually decrease it to zero we or increase it to We found six. that out, right? You can actually go lower than one or higher than five if the effect allows you to do so. Yeah, because that, that card isn't saying move the dial, it's actually just saying up just it or lower, lower it by one. Yeah. That makes sense. All right, handful of cards. You're the first player. A handful of cards. Time to dance. Road full of promise. Okay, right. here we go. Let's kick it off. So this, if you bring this thing in, can minus two me out on all fronts. Now there's a there's an action window before you declare your first conflict, right? Yeah, I think so. You want to you want to confirm that for me? Um, actually, no, I don't think there is. Woo. Yeah, there is. Conflict phase oh, okay, okay. begins. There's the action window. All right, so yeah. I assume you pass. I have an action. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything. Right. I'm just going to uh, bow my stronghold. As long as I have less honor than you, I can take an honor. All right. Well, that seems reasonable. All right. All right. All right. I want to make sure I got weird. that in. Before. That felt weird. Well, you know, I wanted to get it <laughs> in before, before, like, and I think that's part of the Scorpion thing, right, is I want to bid higher because I need to be less honorable, but then I can run that risk and then get an honor back as long as I have enough honor to, like, play that game. But obviously, if I'm down to two or three honor, I can't exactly bid high on that. All right. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I feel like we're about to dance. It's just... But so two characters are... How, how inclined are you to launch two two conflicts here? Not very inclined. I, I think I want to do <laughs> Un -inclined. one... I think I want to do one conflict here. I, I like that samurai on defense, potentially. Uh, all right. Well, let's just kick it off, shall we? Let's send the storyteller on a political conflict. Um, let's go here. Okay, so you choose your ring and your type. You said political. Let's just play the game that we know we're playing, right? Ooh, I love the idea of taking a fade off that actress before she can even use her ability. I tempted you. I paid a fate to tempt you. I know, I do like that a lot. And I'm also tempted to play the honor game because I feel like we're both going to really be interested in that. Honor is, time. A, in this particular matchup, I think honor is very important, both directions, for different reasons. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go void. All right, void, void political here. I'll reveal. Yeah. Night raid. After this province is revealed, your opponent <laughs> chooses and discard cards from Not hand equal to X. X is the number of attacking characters. So one. <laughs> um, I am actually going to. I don't like to, but I'm gonna get rid of a spies at court. It revolves mm. around me dishonoring one of my own characters to have an effect. I think the dishonor and honor game is already going to be hard enough. I don't need to be dishonoring my own stuff. This is tough. I am going to block with my Shosuro actress. Okay. So we are currently three to four. And you get the first action. Okay. All right, my first action is going to play one of my favorite cards in all of Rokugan, which is Watch Commander. Attached to a character I control, limit one per character, costs me one, gives me plus one, plus one, and it has a reaction after an opponent plays a card during a conflict. 
in which a character participating in that play loses an honor, unlimited, which means I can trigger it any number of times. Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Watch Commander hurts. I, I played a game, the first time I played against Watch Commander, I just proceeded to play three more cards because I was committed to winning that conflict. Lost the conflict anyway. And the three honor made me so far behind, it was unfortunate. That's a real bummer. Um, I'm going to do some court games here. During a political conflict, I'll lose one honor to honor your watch commander. Do I just lose it? To honor my watch commander? After I play a card, I have to do what? You lose an honor. Okay, just lost an honor. And then what? Because I just games. played a card. During a political conflict, choose an honor participating character you control, or I can choose a dishonor one. I'm going to choose to honor a storyteller here. All right, all right. So that now puts you at what? Six? It's a six, yeah. And I have to decide how far down this pipeline I'm willing to go. How many, and the value of cards here, and the fate, I don't want to lose my watch, Commander. It's weird. I'll go ahead and see if you want to keep playing the game. Um, I'm going to play court games myself, and I'm going to dishonor your character. Okay. So that goes out. Um, and whether or not I want to keep playing. That's a really good question. Um, Cause, is that? Yeah, so if you played the card to even cancel that, you would lose an honor. Yeah. From the old watch commander. Uh, I will pass. All right, so four now we're four. at four to four. And I have to decide how much that fate is worth. I feel like it's worth some, some, some Keep cards. Keep going, baby. All right, I'm gonna play Wave of the Scorpion. During a, during a conflict, choose to participate in non-scorpion character or dishonor that character. All right. Dishonored. So I'm at a two, and you're at a four, and you probably have stuff that triggers off winning a political conflict, yeah? Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe in the deck. I don't know. Maybe my hand. Could be anywhere, like a scorpion. Huh. 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 <laughs> All out on that first volley. It's tough. I mean, this one is so tough. Um, I'm going to play admit defeat to bow here. Oh, man. All right, so admit defeat, choose a character that is defending the loan, bow that character. Has he lost an honor? Yeah. Uh, actually, let me see if I have an answer to that. Bring it on, Scorpion. So I, I will. I mean, we're going to go all out here. I'm going to play Forged Edict. Which is an interrupt when the effects of that would initiate dishonor from the courtier character to cancel those effects. Okay. So I'm going to dishonor my friend, the Atomo courtier. All right. Let's, let's see if you can get past the dishonor, dishonor, the stack of the scorpion. Uh, I'll pass. So you're currently at a two. I'm a two. Yep. Two to four. I will also pass. All right. So the init the effects initiate. We determine the winner. You're the winner. Do you have any reactions to winning? Please no. I do not. All right. <laughs> uh, apply and oppose. There was none. Break the problems. There was none. Resolve ring effects. Uh, it doesn't happen. Then and I you get to keep the ring. Claim the ring. All right. All right. Well, I weathered the opening storm. Uh, so now I'm going to get a launch of conflict, and I will send my Atomo Courtier uh, using a political because it has a dash for the military stat. Uh, water, actually. All right, trying to stand that up over there, eh? Uh, actually, wait, isn't isn't the uh, the water ring? Is it, can I stand any character? Yes. And it's you, you can, can only, only bow without fate. Got you, because that would be a bummer for what I'm trying to do that here. Would be a bummer. Uh, let's just see what we're working with over here. <laughs> see if you can get the champion off the board. We are working with a manicured garden. Okay. Free money. Oh man. Don't mind if I do. Okay, and worth noting, uh, this dash, so even stuff that affects, it's not considered zero for anybody out there who's- It's worse than zero. It's worse than zero. Literally null and void. So if you would give a plus one to military, that doesn't apply. Even if you were to switch the stats, you can't. In fact- You can't if, mess with it. If your province was the one that switched the, the conflict type to mm -hmm. military, any, because it's military, it actually goes home They would bow. bow and go home. Yeah. yeah. That's how bad they yeah, are nuts. at that. Unwilling to military. All right, I'm going to oppose here with the Brash Samurai. All okay. right. All right. And then I am going to take the first action while it's the only participating character, honor it. Honored. All right. <laughs> and you're the defender, so you get the first action. 
So now you're at a three to my one. Three to your one. I will pass. You're dishonored. Look at you being so dishonored. Actually, you know what? I won't pass. Uh, better than a pass, I will use this action to give you minus two, minus two. Participating character. Like, wow, yeah, so you can just do that, huh? She has no stats, so she actually can't be in. So she's just hanging effect. back that's, there doing all the nonsense. That's why I didn't play the second one, because I can't attack or defend with this character. Okay. Um, all right, so one to one. Who wins? Is the attacker Attacker winning? wins the ties, yeah. Well, um, let's go ahead and just bow you. Yeah, I was, I was wondering if you were going to do that even before defending. I was defending. hoping you'd invest a whole lot more and then I could bow you. Oh, That you'd well. miss it. Nope, I am. I have a watchful <laughs> eye. Okay, uh, let's think about my life on this action. So you're currently still winning. Um, minus two, minus two. This let's, is cool. Let's go. I don't want to waste this yet. That's right. <laughs> yes. I don't. I don't want to waste it yet. Uh, I'll just pass. All right, I'll take an action to gain a fate. Seems good. I'll pass again. And I will pass. Okay. So you'll actually, I obviously don't break it. I don't win the, the conflict. So you go home bowed and you'll claim the water ring yourself. Got it. It's mine. Whee! Okay. I think putting it on the stronghold is a smart thing to do. Just keep it in I'll mind. Do that. Yeah. I'll Isn't just, that nice? I'll just do it here. Yeah. That's a very nice thing to do. Okay. All right, so now potentially there's an action window. I can play a character and initiate a military challenge. You could do the same, and I know that you can do that in that deck. We only have one fate each. I don't have anything to play, so I'm going to pass my conflict over to you. All right. I'm going to also pass my... I guess I did both. No. You haven't only done I only one. I did one. Wow. Yeah. That was a wild one, turn. One attack, one defense. It's a uh, very a very political game. I like it. All right. So... Ready for the fate phase? End of conflict. Uh, Emperor's favor. Oh, yeah. So we check. We have the same number of rings. We have the same number of standing glory. So nothing happens. Nothing happens. Just the emperor does not. Yeah, like it stays where anybody. it's at, which is currently not in the game. Nowhere. All right. All right. And then we'll go to the fate phase. So discard anything that does not have a fate on it. I'll lose an honor here from my courtier. And I'll gain an honor. Thank you, Brash Samurai. Not so brash after all. All right. Honor for honored. I will also trigger here. Each honor character gains sincerity, which means I draw a card when they leave play. So thank you again, Brash Samurai. You've He's done some serious doing work. Doing some work. And then we'll remove a fate from everything on the board. And then we'll go to the regroup phase. Or actually, we'll place fate, fate on, on some rings. rings. You got that? I got it. Thank you. Regroup phase. We have an action window? Anything? Mm, mm, mm. No. All right. Ready the cards. Refilling provinces that need to be, uh, or I'm sorry, mulligan anything that you don't want to play. I like both of these, so that's fine. Return the rings. Did it. Pass that first player token over to you. Boom. And note that I don't gain a fate every time I'm the first player, you're the first player, you don't gain a fate every time I'm the first player. That Just the beginning of the game. That'd be quite a difference yeah, if that's be, how that works, yeah. It'd be a pretty cool little mechanic, but. Okay. And then back up to the, the dynasty phase. Let's right. flip them and see what we're dealing with. Gain the fate. Ooh, I got Dolman. <laughs> It, it's Eric Dahlman, right? It definitely and did has he, to be. Did he, have we talked to him about that? Did he say that? I haven't, but it, you'll, I, th I think as you occasionally see these, uh, the staffers and designers showing up in these games, and that's got to be him. I mean, you know, you've earned it. All, All right, right, let me let read me my cards my really quick. Right, two, four, By Yushi Yunako. Wow, that seems good. This is a, that was a fantastic round. <laughs> that we, was a real just... We did some dancing. It, it, it felt for the first time like we were playing L5R even remotely right. <laughs> like, look, we're literally, it's almost a dead even at this point. We both have four costs where the character's out. We're yeah. both down one honor. We're both at eight fate. And we've both revealed one providence. Yep. It, basically, this, the exact same thing happened, which is a good sign. I wish so much that I could have got this character off the board. That it was would have really turned things. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's 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 nice. really the game, right? All right. Um, so, are you done reading I'm over just, there? I'm just doing math. Ugh. Man, you know, you want to get these champions out, but you just worry about them. <laughs> like, I can't invest like seven to into just have this, it go away, and yeah. then you know it gets dishonored minus three and all that kind of stuff. 
Mm, let's go. I'm gonna have to read your cards too. Yeah, the, the action on this this uh, commander here is that I can switch the base military and political stats on a character. Okay, so that's a great example of something you can't do with a dash character. Exactly. Uh, four two. Okay, that's fine. Switch them up, Zach. I know, I know, I know. Uh, let's They're just all go great. for it. I'm gonna pay four for the commander. I'm not sure that's the right that's the right call, but we're doing it anyway. And I'm going to invest um, one. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> yep. This yep. game is hard. You want to you want to put that champion out there? <laughs> I you know I I don't think I can. I mean I can certainly, but I'm not going to. Uh, this is becoming my favorite character so far in the game. <laughs> by the way, Brass Samurai. Just fundamentally good. Just fundamentally good. Paying two fate there and man, getting the storyteller out is. It's nice. Good news for you. It's really nice. I wish he wasn't dishonored. Let's uh, play the blackmail artist for two. Has an action. If it wins a political conflict, I can take an honor from my opponent. Okay, so a lot more honor business happening here. Hmm. All right, let's play Kakita Kaizen. There he is. Let me, let me just read this guy. Yeah, it's a duelist, so we'll get to play that game. Seems good. And I'm, you know, against Scorpion, I'm reluctant to invest a lot of fate in something because of the dishonor mechanic. Getting this character dishonored makes him pretty tough to tough to use. But they also have some brutal. It's like a, I can swim. Yeah. Where they can get rid oh, of a dishonored so character bad. is really strong. So I'm gonna. Speaking of which, I'm gonna Hold go. On, ahead and I gotta decide if I'm gonna invest fate in this guy or not. That's what I'm. I'm currently on. I didn't. I didn't realize. I mean, it's worth one, right? It's worth one. Yeah. That's what I felt here. It's like I want to have it out for, a, because effectively, assuming it doesn't get taken care of somehow, right? Which is taken we, care we, of. Yeah. That's we, we saw in the last <laughs> game you invested fate in a character I assassinated. Yeah. So it was just a waste of fate. It's but not like two a, cost. a three cost character that can't be assassinated. You're effectively getting a three cost character for two turns, so that's worth a lot. Um, how much? We You're not see. showing strong military duel potential right now, aside from uh, Yunako over there. So yeah. notice I'm using the last name. Yunako, first technically. Doesn't All right, work. I'm gonna pass. I'm just gonna get a fate. How about that? More tricks. Right. Let's get this. The attacker just play that. So I could attack. It's hard not to play that guardsman. I'll do it. For one? Yeah. Yeah, let's be uh, one. Especially at this point, uh, no Imperial favor happened, and also, I already passed, so you're not going to gain that advantage. You're going to gain the, the money. Okay, and then I'm done. All right, time to go to the draw phase. To the dials. What scorpion got up their sleeve? How many cards are you sitting on? Enough. Four. I got five. We had a quite a little exchange that last round. How far am I willing yeah, to push Yeah, kind of I'm kind of, you know, it's like, I could leave the game now and feel pretty satisfied. You it's like that, that was like an entire game's go? worth of decisions <laughs> for me. Uh, you ready? Yeah. I've got a two. I have a four. All right, I'll take two, baby. Mm, yeah. All right, so then I'll draw four. One, two, boy, I almost drew four there. Ooh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> wow. It's as though we're seeing these cards they for the first see time. see the deck for the first time. Man, I love the art on this character that I will tell you later when I play it. And you mean you have a character you with it? No. Got it. Spoiler. <laughs> Got it. It's a character in the art, you know, uh -huh. not necessarily the card. Uh -huh. It's the. Uh, You're the first player. I know. I'm thinking about my life. I have two. <laughs> Fate, I need more for tricks. I kind of want to say. I think this mechanic is great. Obviously, it's, it's, it's a board game mechanic, and I like that all of our rings are turned to political just because of <laughs> <laughs> We know. We know the real score here. So, part of the problem here, right, is like I kind of want to send a military volley, but I know you can block with uh, old Kaizen. Or even the guardsman, he means kind of nothing to me, right? Really just means nothing, yeah. Um, well, let's. Let's push my luck, shall we? If this character to me is kind of the 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 turning point, kind of the everything of this turn revolves around this, because I'm so reluctant to jump into this battle just because of the honor exchange. Also, do you want to use this before you 
get going. Yeah, sure. Just to get Action. it over with. Let's gain a gain on. Thanks for the friendly reminder. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna leverage this uh, actress because I think you're gonna be scared, mortified, Worried. vilified, horrified. Uh, I'm gonna send the actress and the artist on a fire uh, political maneuver over here, which is gonna get you access to fate. But I really do not want that champion ever gracing the board. So I'm currently at a six political. Wow. Okay, hold on. This could get interesting. <laughs> wow. <laughs> mm. You feeling it? This is nuts. Okay, so it's political, huh? That's what you're telling me? That is what I'm telling you. It is political. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, you drew two cards, so you're at seven now? I'm at seven. I'm going to defend here, and this this could be so wrong, uh, but that's what we're playing, right? <laughs> that is why I seem we're to be playing. The, I seem to be the the guy in the videos that is teaching you all of the things not to do. Well, maybe you'll get one up on me here. All right, so first action, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go here. You did say political, right? It, I did. It is blue, right? It is blue. And okay, I'm gonna bow this to you, uh, bow that. Yep. About the artist. All right. And so you can still military duel me during a political conflict, right? Is that the... I, I certainly can. All right. Yep. That's good to know. Let me think. Um, okay. Uh, do you know... The duel doesn't care if you're standing or not, right? Mm, why don't you use a character? You can draw a child and character a duel. If it wins, move each character not involved in the duel home. But your strength... Doesn't count. It's still your base strength when you're doing a duel. So I have to imagine that even me like bowing your character somehow right now wouldn't. I don't think so. Right? Wouldn't, wouldn't get the We'd job We have to look done. the rules up on that. We'll just do it as we think it is now, and then uh, save it for later when we do the next yeah. video. So that's going to be a problem. I feel like I need to force you into some things here. I am going to do a but crazy really, maneuver. Really, the duel won't matter too much to you. Because you could choose to duel here. If you lose, this goes home. Oh, wait. How... It's everyone who's not involved in the duel goes home. Oh, I thought it bowed me. No. That's the, I don't care about so the duel. So the duel doesn't really matter. So at all. I'm currently winning four to two. Both of us are disappointed by that. <laughs> Did you think it bowed me? I thought, like, well, yeah, we'll send that one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you know, reading is hard. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, I, in that case, being ahead, uh, four to two, do I want to do anything else? Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, I'm going to play for shame. During a conflict, if I control a participating courtier character, choose a participating character controlled by your opponent. That guy. Uh, your opponent must select one. Dishonor the character or bow it. All right, so you can dishonor or bow. And that was the guy, very guy you said you didn't want to get dishonored. Yeah, uh, that's true. Uh, that weird. is very true. Hmm. Um, and so if I do that, then that's bad. Uh, all right, we will go ahead and bow for shame. Because I don't want to, I don't want to be dishonored. Um, I'll take an action and gain a fate. All right. And currently, I am still at four to your now zero. I will pass. Okay. Do we have any tricks available? Unfortunately, uh, I'm going to pass as well. Okay. So you do have a character, so it's not on. Un, uh, unopposed? Unopposed or unblocked. I don't, there's a word for it. It's not unopposed, surely. It is unopposed, yeah. What? Apply right. unopposed. Literally, that's uh, what it's called. Check for strength. I do break the province. You're going to break the province. So let's run it down. First of all, unopposed. No. Nope. Break the province. Yes. Flip it over. Discard the champion. Gone. I'm going to give that to you just as a matter of principle. Resolve the ring effect, if you would, please. All right. I will choose to honor or dishonor a character. Hmm. I am going to honor my character. All right. Way to go, Scorpion. You're yeah. really playing the game. <laughs> uh, and then return home. And I claim the ring and return home bowed. Okay. It could have been worse, right? Well, if you'll remember, uh, <laughs> the actress has a little ability. During a conflict, sacrifice this character. She's a non Shinobi character with a printed cost three or lower and a plus discard pile. Put that character in play under my control. So, buyer beware. Do you luckily, want to do that? Not yet. No, not yet. <laughs> I will wait. But luckily, I can't. It's three or lower, so I couldn't play the champion, which would be 
ace. Absolutely. Okay, so now I get to decide if you want to do some things. <laughs> um, okay. So I can go political to the nines, or I cannot. So let's go military here. Okay. I'm going to choose water. Mm, no. Oh, no. I'm going to choose earth. I, uh... I'm going to go over to Night Raid because I know it's safe. Okay. And it is a military challenge. All right. I need to think about some things here. For two. Hmm. Tough. Yeah, it is tough. I agree. This is the most thinking a game has ever had me do of this uh, of oh, this, this genre. Variety. Yeah, yeah, it's dense. There's a lot of stuff. But strangely, on. it's it's not at this point over as overwhelming as it was. I'm kind of just interested to see how it's going to turn out. Maybe that's me just not being cutthroat enough, <laughs> or maybe that's called having fun. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Right. Which does seem to be a pretty good reason to be playing these sorts of games. Um, all right, I uh, will not block. No blocks. No, not currently. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or will I? Ah, that's so hard. Or will I? No, I won't. I won't. All right, I you have not. the first action. Um, I will take an action. That is what I will do. Bummer. I'm going to play the Stoic Gunzo into the conflict. Okay. So you can sacrifice a friendly character to give this character plus three until the end of the conflict. All right. I'll take an action and honor the character. Okay. So now you are a four. I'm a four. And then I will take an action. Oh, I love you, Samurai. <laughs> I just love He's you. He's in love. Uh, which I'll use the Stoic Gunzo's action. So I'll sacrifice the Blackmail Artist, which I forgot to trigger earlier when I won that political conflict. Yes. Wait, get, what does it do? Uh, I can take an honor from my opponent. Oh, that's when fine. I, when I win a political conflict. Keep it easy. That's what I Keep I, it like, tight. Went, no. Keep it tight. Keep it uh, technically, I, I, I could miss that, right? Like, it's yeah, a reaction, it's not a passive, so it, yeah. it doesn't just happen. But Stoic yeah. Gunzo going to sacrifice the character, and now he's at a plus three, so he's a five. Plus three. Okay. Um... What do you got, one fate over there? One fate. Well, let's try to make this worthwhile. Let's bow the Stoic Gunzo. Yikes. She's a character defending alone, bow it. I figure I got a sacrifice out of him. If I can still win the challenge, that's gonna be a good swing. I'll pass. Yes. Pass as well. All right, so first thing, check for unopposed, doesn't happen. Doesn't happen? But, but I've got four strength. To my zero, so it's gonna break. Zero, so it's break the province. Discard the card. Uh, yeah. Why not, right? And then apply the ring effect. I will draw one and you will lose one at random. There is one card in here, and if you see it, you will know that you got the right card. Okay. Here we go. Because you'll see my face. Well, these Netrunner skills have never right, done actually, me wrong. Hold on. <laughs> let, me, let me just fan them out so the camera can see this happening. And we'll see if you grab the right card. I feel like you always, you know, it's always like they look at the card that they want second and then they kind of look around to try to be like. To, yeah. Bonsai. That's, that's a good it. card. It's not bad. Not bad. Uh, I will draw my card. Thank you, Earth. And then <laughs> we can all come back. <laughs> I love that. Loud. I'm going to start doing that. Thank you, for Thank, thank you, Void. Thank you, Void. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's so good, actually. Man, I like that. I don't know why I like that so much. All right. You ready to keep dancing? Yep. Hmm. Dance on, my friend. Dance on. I'm always nervous to send a character at an, an unknown I know. It makes you... It, it gives you the... The sweats, right? Yeah, because there's one that's just like remove a fate from an attacking character. Yeah. Or honor and dishonor. Uh, he's honored, so I'm less worried about that. I uh, refill that province too. Gotcha. Fine. I uh, guess hey, I'll do hand it. Slap. <laughs> Those old L5R players will get you. Um, it's like an assembly line. What is this worth? 
Isn't that really just always the question we've got to ask? Yes. What is this worth? Yeah. I... Do you not ask that in your daily life? Never. Well? Not once. Every decision that you make? All right, so the next, your next conflict is going to be Whatever. your last conflict. So I think standing or bowing is going to be less relevant. Uh, technically, you could you... take one of my honor and gain a fate. That's a pretty good exchange for you. If you use your turn signal, you know what's it worth? Should I buy that croissant? Are the calories in worth the enjoyment and sustenance I'm going to get? So really, L5R is just like playing real life in an ancient setting. Real life? That's a lot more interesting, actually, than whether or not you're going to get a croissant. That is slightly more interesting. Yes, you're right. This is hard. No, it is I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for it. I'll, I'll win some board advantage here. Uh, oh, so actually, he thinks no, he can wait, just swoop in wait, and get more than this. Wait, no, no we've wait, seen something. Wait, I have seen a, a new line. This is why you can't have a 45 minute uh, round turn. Ever, ever. You just can't. Nobody's going to have fun. <laughs> you got to take time. <laughs> I guess maybe some people would disagree with that. I wasn't ready for that statement. <laughs> no one's going to enjoy this. No one's going to enjoy that. Sure, uh, there's no way it's a 45 minute round. That's zero a zero people would enjoy right. that, right? <laughs> So here's what I'm going to do. Speaking absolutes on videos. All I'm the time. going to sacrifice my actress, which is her ability. Uh, oh wait, no, it's during a conflict. Yeah. Missed that. All right. Well, we'll do that anyway. I'm going to send <laughs> a checks uh, discard pile. Unako here, yeah, uh, on a void military at unknown province number three. Uh, big money, big money, and hope that it doesn't go awfully. Plinko, after it's revealed, switch the conflict type. Oh no! That's all right, he's got an ability just for this reason. Now I'm gonna leave this, I like leaving the ring on military because it signals that I haven't, you haven't, uh, you declared the military challenge. But we know it's political. There's also a case you made, it's almost like, can we just, let, here, let's do this. Let's do something weird. Um, let's like put, put some kind of an indicator on it. I'm waiting. Put an honor on it. Yeah, put an red. honor on it. Yeah. It was actually red. We knew it was red. So we know that it's been changed. Dishonorable. Okay, after it's revealed, switch the conflict type. That has happened. So now we You don't have to do that, but you're choosing to do that. Well, it is a reaction. I guess you can. You don't have to trigger that. And, you know, I, there's a part of me that doesn't want to, because I just wanted to kind of stuff this guardsman in there, because... Why not? does that matter? Um, okay, hold on. Steven needs to check hand. Okay. Just take your time. We're just hanging out here. We're all friends. <laughs> Sip. <laughs> <laughs> just sitting here waiting. Oh, no. You have a lot of options over there. Oh, man. Man, Scorpion's wild cats. I've never drawn four or five in a round until now. It's nice having ten cards in your hand. And I've already done a military challenge. Yep. So, um, I don't want to switch this. I'm going to choose to not trigger that reaction. All right, we're back I to military. I that that's possible, right? Yeah, From you don't. past games, we don't A reaction to. is a, a choice. Okay. Not a, not a force. That puts you at six. I mean, I guess you're less likely to trigger it. Um, no. Yes. I'm confused. This is just impossible, man. I don't know how anybody plays this game. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, well. uh, they play it by following our learn to play. <laughs> Just kidding. You too can learn. <laughs> Go here. Um, all right, yeah, yeah. Let's switch it. Let's play by the. All right, we're back. Let's do. It. Let's switch it. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, let's block here. All right, X-wing players. Bringing them all in. So what are we on here? Political. We're we're on. Uh, oh wait, yeah, that's the. No, problem. we're on military. Yeah, yeah, that's the. Problem. You don't we're want not to switch it. it. All right, we're, we're back again. <laughs> They're back again. This is a hobbit's tale. Um, so we're on military. Yeah, everybody's in. Military. Zero and two. So Interesting I'm, choices I'm here, two. Wooly. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't have any cards in your hand that are political challenge only that you want to, just to honor your characters to get nope. rid of that token. No, nope. it doesn't sure say that. that. Not that I would ever even have those All right, so we are, we are in a what here? <laughs> military void? Is that what I chose? Yeah, military void. Man. Yeah, we've been around the, around the block on this one. Okay. All right. I think the game would go faster if every choice you made just had to be made right then. And That's you how you typically take it play back. a game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no takes you back -sies. All right, you get first action. So it's six to two. Six to two. Okay, um, let's start off with the classic for shame. Uh, during a conflict, if I control a participating courtier, I choose a participating character controlled by my opponent, and you must select to either dishonor or bow that character. 
I will dishonor my character. Dishonors. So the honor's going to go away. And now I get to play a card. Yep. And this is the card I hoped you didn't discard. The old watch commander. Oh, another watch commander, okay. Round deuce. So now I am a five strength military versus your two strength. Five? You're not on it anymore. Bruh. Right, plus one. You're three. Wait, it's a four. Oh, it's military, that's right. Five. <laughs> okay, five We're on to military, uh, <laughs> in case you missed that note. Uh, uh, five to two, so that's still a three. Mm -hmm. Still feeling okay about that. You know, what? Who could, who could care about that? That doesn't matter at all. I'll pass. Nothing fancy here. <laughs> let's not let's not get crazy. I feel like I want to do things. I don't know. Told me do things. I come running. I'm I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna sacrifice the actress. All right. Thank goodness. And I'm gonna put him my in, brash samurai into play in into my conflict. My own brash samurai. I want. I wanted to use him Truly in a brash in a way that would gain me the honor from honoring him. But I'm not. I'm just gonna. She's gonna go away. So I may as well use it unless you have other tricks. So now I'm at a seven to your two. Currently head by five. Oh yeah. Um, and I'm going to play a card. Lose an honor. I'm lose an honor. I'm gonna play outwit. Choose a lower political than one of my courtiers and move it home. Not it bad. home to me. <laughs> <laughs> Come back. Wait, does this last for the end of the until the end of the thing? He's in play. Yeah. Okay. Well. All right, I fine. mean, it's my second conflict, so I'm losing honor for that, and I need to pay my fate. I guess we did the effects first, and then we paid the cost, yeah. which is just a bad just, habit to get it's into. Not what you want. All right. So I'll... let me make sure that that's correct. Doing that, right? I'm still five to two, so you're not breaking this province. That's right. Currently. Okay. All right. Um, let's see, I'm out of money. <laughs> I'm down to cards that I can't play. Right All right. Uh, I'll pass. All right, and I don't have anything fancy, right? So I will pass as well. And let me just make sure, I can't switch. Wait, I can do that. Can I switch those stats? That's literally the definition of what you can't do with a dash. Mm. It's in the, uh, it was a big question in the, the Matsuri tournament. Okay. Well, I won't switch the, I won't do that. the lines. Do you want to switch the storyteller? No. Okay. No, zero. Zero percent. All right. So I win. Yes. Or I don't win. We'll walk through the steps. You do. It win, doesn't break. But it doesn't break. It's not unopposed. It's not unopposed. But then I get to trigger the ring. You do so I'll take a fade off of your character. Yeah. Well. And then I'll claim the ring. And then we'll go tough. home bad. See, I was worried about like. If I, my, my problem is if I switch it to political and I drop him in alone and you have nonsense, it's very easy to take care of a single character defending. So then not only do you probably break the province, but then you also take an honor and it's just like, eh. I also have my ability. I just could have switched your skills to zero. There you go. I was thinking about all of those things the entire time. Yeah, I assure a lot you. Of issues. All right, so really there in my brain. It's now your opportunity to take an action and maybe launch a conflict or not. Uh, I will opt to pass that uh, action window. Okay, so now we'll go to the uh, Emperor's Favor, and that card is somewhere. I don't see it over here. <laughs> when does this go it. away, by the way? At, after this phase. Okay. So, so you get it for Imperial Favor. You're going to get it a million. Yeah. So times I have over. two rings to zero and two glory. So I'll I'll get the Imperial Favor, okay. um, which I will get and set to. We've got an emergency uh, from here from downtown. Yeah. It'll drop in. All right, imperial from favor from the from the emperor on high. <laughs> uh, political and military. I mean, this is tough. I feel like I'm I'm gonna go political. Reinforce a little weakness here. Uh, then we'll go to the fate phase. So we get rid of all the characters that don't have fate, including. Yeah, this hurts. Your brash samurai. All right, brash samurai goes out, and let's run it down. The storyteller has sincerity, so I'll draw a card, and also I will lose a honor because I was dishonored. Okay, yep. that's the first one. One at a time here. Brash Samurai is honored. Technically uh, has sincerity from the storyteller because it all happens simultaneously. So I will draw a card there. Ooh, that is a ton of cards. And I will gain an honor for being honored. Okay. And then Eric gets discarded. Nothing See fancy Eric. there. 
And the guardsman is gone as well. Okay. So then it's still fate phase, so we'll put a fate on unclaimed ranks. And remove a fate from your uh, character right. there if you don't mind. No. Ooh, look at air with two fate on that it. That never happens. That Welcome is such to a first good player, ring. Steven, yeah, getting yeah. three fate. That is pretty or good. Two fate. Uh, so then we will put go to the regroup phase. Everything ready. We will put the rings back. Pass the first player token. We can And then flip it and uh, dip it. Let's go. Um, I'm gonna mulligan. Oh here. yeah, you get to mulligan. Here. Or not mulligan, but get rid of. Refill left to right. So flip. Ooh. Ah, yes. I wanted my champion. Yes. Oh man, that gift giver is money in the bank. It's straight money. Oh man. Yeah, Zach, welcome to paradise, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> How does she read? If, if she's def <laughs> She forces me to bow oh, someone, right? Let me read it. Um, I can give you one fate, and then you must choose a ready participating character and bow that character. That so it, that's exciting. It can hurt really bad. I've also got Kikita, so uh, if I have more current political skill in a conflict, I can trigger it to take one honor from you, which is nice. And the artisan during a conflict bow the character, choose another Korean character to give plus three political until end of the conflict, so very easy to trigger Kikita. And then Daidoji Narishma, uh, Bushi Scout, choose a face down card in one of your provinces, turn that card face up. So I can potentially get a refill. Extra card. Very and card. I'm gonna do that first just to show us that it's possible. Uh, so I'm gonna pay two for Daidoji All right. Narishma. Uh, that cost me two. And then okay. I'm not gonna invest anything into it. You know why? He's a great little character though. Assassination. That's right. <laughs> Investing in a two-coster is just tough. Um, I'm gonna go... I like, ooh. Three for my Ronin. Yeah, I'm feeling okay about that. So the Ronin, you can invest fate and then take it off to pump strength. So how much are you gonna invest over there? I'm gonna invest one. And no honor too, so that's actually a pretty safe character. Um, I'm gonna take this action to choose a face down card in one of my provinces and turn it face up. <laughs> Another cheap body. All right, I'm going to. Um, pay two for the young rumor monger. Oh no, what are you rumoring? When a character will be honored or dishonored, choose another character controlled by the same player. That character receives the honor or dishonor token. That's wow, done. that's great. That's really annoying. Uh, all right, let's pay three for Kakita Asami. I love that art. And let's put one on. She's good. Uh, I'll go ahead and pass to get an extra fate for the, the inevitable fate. pain train of cards I'm going yeah. to send your way. And then I've got this artisan. I feel like that's such a good ability to get on the board. Um, that gift giver is great too, but giving you fate at this point is a problem as well. Oh, I need to refill. Um, so I think I'm actually going to hold off on that one and just yeah, pay one like there play for the artisan. All right. And then. Um, it's crazy. I will pass as well. I like that that's zero, zero instead of dashes. Yeah. It'll give you some. You can some still potentially story. get All in right. there. On to the draw phase. The draw phase. Both a nine honor. Nine honor. Right there. You have a bunch of cards. You don't need cards. I do have a bunch of cards, but I would like more. More cards are good. I'd always like more. What do you got? I'm doing one. Four. Yes. So I'm going to pay you. Please give me three. Three honor. And then I'll draw my four. Give me the goods. Beautiful. All right, so are we down to it? Are we ready? We're ready, man. You're first. All You're right. gonna go after that air? I think. Down to six honor, this, is your, this is your chance. Definitely going after the air. Okay, now, do I want to do more than one? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a pre-conflict okay, action. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's gonna gain an honor over here. The old Try city of the one? open hand. Uh, you take one from me. Yeah, you. take one, even better. <laughs> Double-edged sword. Okie dokie. 
Wow, this is nuts. Okay. <laughs> and it's so nerve wracking to have a single character in a challenge in this game. You realize that? I do. Yeah, I sent mine last time. Man, my hand makes me not like Scorpion at all. Yeah, you're just about to just unload on In the stuff. best way. Um, boy, there's a lot of great stuff here. What if I just started with military? Would that just be weird? All right. Let's, really? Let's do political. And we're going to go here. No whammies, no baddies, please. Well, political air. You got your fate. Yeah. During a conflict of this province, choose two participating characters. Honor one and dishonor the other. Solid. Which is a shameful display. Shameful display, okay. Hmm. Yikes. Yike, yike, yikes. I think I want to play some tricks. I feel like this is going to explode this game right into the... Yeah, probably will. Right into the wall. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I like honoring and dishonoring things. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Let's actually go... Uh, oh, now you got that. Crazy town ability. Hey, I'm Mr. Politics over Man, day. you know what? I mean, it's just... You're just going to sink it all in? Because I'll get the first action, right? You will get the first action, yeah. So if you bow my character, so be it. Um, yeah, let's, let's just do that. I'm going to block with the Wandering Ronin. Okay. And with full knowledge that he's about to get craned. Mm -hmm. uh, but I get first action, right? Yeah. So... Let me make sure. Yeah, uh, first action will be shameful display. During a conflict of this province, choose two participating characters, honor one, dishonor the other. So I will obviously dishonor yours and honor mine. Okay. And I'll interrupt, instead of honoring my Ronin, I'm actually going to honor my uh, Okay. And do, the, do those interrupts, do they, can they only be used once? Yeah, unless, it, unless interrupts, it reactions, so. actions can only be used once. That okay. would be, could be pretty insane. Uh, so technically, like, I could instead have put it Dishonor on one of your other characters, but that's the character I want to Dishonor. Okay. So, next up. Hmm. Man, I have a bunch of weird stuff that could work here. All right, so I'm going to weigh the crane, choose a crane, and honor it. <laughs> this is going to be a dance. <laughs> I should have put my watch commander in here just to prevent this from happening. Yeah, but it's terrifying. Um, so you <laughs> honor that character. That's the way of the crane, right? That's the way of the crane. Mm. It's the only way. I'm just looking through these stack of <laughs> yeah, cards. Yeah, just how here. do you want to do it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, well, I'm going to play some court games. Uh, during a political conflict, select one. Choose an honor of participating character I control or choose an honor... Your opponent chooses and dishonors a participating character he or she controls, which is why a single character is Tough. riskier. So yeah. uh, I'll make you choose to dishonor a participating character. Is that just during a, you don't have to have a courtier or anything? That's just during political. Oh. Uh, all right, so dishonored here. That's correct. Okay, well. <laughs> um, I want to play this card. <laughs> Let's uh, honor that character. Oh my right. goodness. <laughs> is that not limit one per conflict? Oh no. Oh, That's come bad. on. Come on. For shame. So we have the crane, man. Uh, all right, I, I'm going to respond to that, actually, with a fun little thing that makes you, you probably love. Them? Yeah, I'm going to play Forged Edict. So I will dishonor a courtier. When the effects of an event would initiate dishonor a friendly courtier character, cancel okay. it. Cancel so the I am going to dishonor the rumor monger. Let's see if you can wiggle out of it. All right, dishonored. Let's do... <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, we're both just dancing out. You have another way. You honor fiend. I'm gonna play the perfect gift just just to play it. I don't know. Reveal the top four cards of each player's conflict deck. Choose one to add to each. Player's okay, hand. so you're searching right. for a way out here. All right. So I have a forged. Oof, that would have been great. Oh, there's the way of the crane. <laughs> I have a forged edict. Again, another cancel. 
Calling of Favors, I can disarm a friendly character to move one of your attachments to one of my characters or discard it. I have For Shame, which is during a conflict, uh, you know, thing. And then mm -hmm. Adept of Shadows, character I can pay two to put in. Um, well, I don't see any attachments to... Let's give you the thing that steals one of my attachments. Isn't that what it does? Yep, Calling okay. of Favors. Yeah. And then do I shuffle my deck? Um, what does it say? Yeah, shuffle. All right. All right, and then I could potentially choose the Outwit. I could Way of the Crane to get back to non-Dishonored. Steward of Law would have been incredible. I can't become Dishonored while he's participating in the conflict. It doesn't help me now, unfortunately. In Touch of <laughs> Warrior, I'm not particularly needing. Um, I'm going to take the... Uh, I'm going to take the way of the cream. Uh, I think you got to. I think that's important. Big play. All right, over to you, though. You have an opportunity. I am dishonored. What's the action on your... Well, I'm participating in a political conflict. If I count more political skill in that conflict, take one honor from that opponent. Now, don't forget you have the Imperial Favor, too. So you're at three, two, one right now. All right, well, for all our dancing, I have a card I hope you can't do anything about. All right, show me. I can swim. Pay two. Oh, is that the bad one, yeah? Yep. During a conflict, if the bid on my honor die is higher than my opponent's, mine's four, is mm -hmm. the one. Uh, choose a participating dishonored character controlled by that opponent and discard that character. Ah, that is so good. It's <laughs> just frustrating. Um, okay, that's fine. That's fine. So nothing I can do there. If I had more honored characters, I could potentially uh, cancel that with yep. these cream honor cards. But you've also already got one honored, so I'd have to find a way to get two. Um, all right, so let's discard that, and I will uh, don't get that fate, unfortunately. <laughs> I will lose an honor, because I am dishonored. Man, what a bummer. Investing in anything against Scorpion is tough. I mean, the crazy part of that, too, is that if it hadn't been for Shameful Display, unless I had another card in my hand, it's like, it took everything. Okay. Let's bow there. Okay. So I'm at one from the mm -hmm. favor. Actions. Um, and I have no money. <laughs> this hand is funny now. <laughs> uh, I'll pass. All right. Let's play the political rival. Oh, man. What does he do? She has three political strength. Oh, nice. Gets plus three while defending. But for now, it will break the province, so... That's what I'm banking on. Well, I don't want. Yeah, are you even if you count zero? Is that, I, don't. I think that's right. I, I think I as think long as right. I have someone in the in the. Uh, we've we've got you we've got, got ways. You've got ways. The, the cranes have ways. Um, I'll pass. Man, right. having those dashes is annoying. I can't use my. Dog. Right, right, right. Um, okay, this may ultimately be a mistake, but. I think we need to break this province at this point. I think that's necessary. So let's go ahead and give plus three here. To my one, I don't, uh, I'm gonna pass. Okay. Well, uh, let's resolve it, shall we? Okay. So, so first things first is not unopposed. I do win the challenge. I do break the province. I am going to trigger the air ring and I'm going to take an honor from you. I'll pass it over. Thank you. And then we will come home bowed. All right. That was a lot of action. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's in this hand here. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. What's that ability to do after it's revealed, right? Yeah. So it's static, wide open. And you're ahead in the province game now. That's interesting. Yeah, but I'm not feeling great about it. You know? <laughs> yeah, I do know, yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I do. Weird. Weirdly enough. Uh, and I haven't launched any challenges. None challenges. So yeah. that's good news for me. Um, let's go ahead and... Um... This definitely feels like the closest game we've played. I agree. This is... We're getting better. <laughs> That's good. It's a good thing. I still feel like most of the decisions I'm making are questionable. I'm going to go political um, water to gain the fate. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go there. Because I know it's safe. All right, political water. And you could have a cascade of, 
of nonsense that happens after this goes down. Um, or you could have, you know, nothing. Just nothing. You could have nothing. And this is political, so you're at three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so he's at two. Actually, minus one, so seven. Plus one, so three, plus two, it's five. Plus one is six, plus and one is seven. seven. I'll just put that in favor, it's like it's a character. Whew. Welcome to just giving your opponent the high ground. And this is water. This is water. So you get to stand somebody up. You get to stand the Ronin up. Huh? That's right. You see my plan now. This is easily the closest game, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, well, let us, let us leave. I'm not going to declare any defenders. And okay. I hope it doesn't go really poorly for me. <laughs> I have the first action, <laughs> and I will pass. I get the second action, and I will also pass. Right. So we'll check. It's un unopposed. unopposed. So you lose an honor. Lose an honor. Then I will break the province. Broken. I get rid of the gift giver, which was really the secret goal the whole time. <laughs> uh, trigger the ring. So I'll stand the running, claim the ring, and then uh, these characters will bow. Come back home. Okay, so now we've got ourselves a, a fight. Do I want to send my scout in, or do I want to hold it for defense? Now the defender is losing on ties, right? Well, that's right. So attacker wins ties. That's another way of saying <laughs> that's that. That's one way of saying that, yeah? Uh-huh. Okay. The Ronin's ready. I could potentially give you a, a tough choice to make. Um, let's go military... Void, I think. I feel like I need, I want to reset this board. Are you just, being, no. are you being coy? No, I'll let you, I'll let you spin that fade if you have to. Um, this looks good too. Earth feels really nice. I like cards. Honoring a character. I don't have any fate on the board. Dishonoring a character might be worthwhile actually. All I can do is take away that honor or leave him. Yeah, let's do um, let's do military uh, earth. Military earth. Yeah. Province number three. Lethal. Nerishma. Elemental fury. Reaction after this province is revealed. Switch the contested ring with an unclaim unclaimed oh. ring. All of those are okay, I guess. So that I can could have been worse. Switch it if I want it. Um, let me look at this hand here. Not exactly bringing, bringing the heat. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I'm not gonna react. I'm just gonna let it, let it ride. Let it happen. Okay. Yeah. You like Earth, huh? It's my home. All right. Uh, well, you get the first action. I'm not gonna block first. First off. No action. Well, I'm not blocking. Oh right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Now you get the first action. I'm gonna pass. All right. Well, um, should we put some pressure on? Let's go ahead and honor here. Bring it up to four. Oh, uh, yes. Way of the crane. Hmm. See if you can do anything about it. I can't. Yes. I'll pass. All right. I'll pass as well. All right. Unopposed. Losing honor. I will uh, trigger the ring. You break the province. Trigger the ring. Let me discard the card. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That's my champion. The champion's gone. Get the good card right here. This is all right. All right, Adept of Shadows is gone. Draw my card, and then come back home. And I'll pass this ring out. Thank you. All right, well. Feeling I better? I don't think Void's gonna light my world on fire here. <laughs> so we're gonna do a military fire uh, right there. Right there, all right, let's hope for the pantsing. <laughs> That'd be great if that was the problem. Night Raid, discard one, my friend. I get to choose? Yep. Let's go ahead and discard the contingency plan. Okay. Actually, eh, it's fine. All right. Contingency plan is gone, and I will have no defenders. Okay. I will... You get first action? I got no actions. I'll take an action. I'll remove this to give the run in plus two, plus two. I'll trade that. I'm fine with that. I think, yeah, neither one of us really can, can hate that. Uh, you get to break the province and your character goes away next turn. That's fine. Um, I'll pass. Okay. Um, I'll also pass. So we'll check the strength. Unopposed. It's unopposed. We'll check strength. It breaks. I'll discard the breaks. cards. 
I'll trigger the ring. Resolve the ring. Um, I'm actually going to honor here. Oh, someone's feeling a little light on the honor, I'm huh? a little light. A little scared. Uh, <laughs> and I'll claim the ring. Uh, thank you very much. It's yours. And <laughs> then I'll go home bad. All right, nice. All right. Then we'll check for Imperial Favor. We both have two rings. We both have no standing glory, so it'll stay where it's at. Stay where it is. Uh, then we will go to the fate phase. So all characters leave play that don't have a fate. Yep. I'll gain an honor for my honor character here. I'll also gain an honor. Honor's good. Clear the board. Put a fate on any rings that weren't claimed. Fate on any rings. We'll go to the regroup phase. Rings Put all the rings back. back. Stand anything up that needs standing. Pass the first player token. Pass the first player token. I'll get rid of the guardsman. And I will also get rid of the guardsman. He's not exactly doing anything for you, right? Mulligan. All right, gain fate. Flip, then gain fate. That's right. How, how dare you? Who could have ever made that mistake? Okay. This is exciting. That's that's fine. Kakita's back, by the way. My favorite. Four, six, and one. Makes seven. All right. And you're going to have the first action. Have you seen this champion? Yeah, it, it's, it's real good. good. He's, he's like a constant, just minus one chainsaw or something. Minus one chainsaw? Well, this character <laughs> participating in a political conflict, choose a participating character controlled by your opponent until the end of the conflict. That character gets minus one political and is discarded if its skill is zero. Is that not a minus one chainsaw? Right? I understand. <laughs> you keep sawing away a and then eventually the chainsaw. tree comes down. Yeah. That's when I want the minus two, minus two character. Boy, right? you've, got, oh, you've got a hard turn there. Yeah, it's because we're both down, both down to the final. I'll have my doji gift giver ready to uh, final offer countdown. a gift to your champion as well. I understand. <laughs> I understand. I understand, man. <laughs> <sighs> so what are you going to do? I don't know. This is hard. Yeah. Life is hard. I feel like this is the... Scorpion obviously should be hard. The, the choices over there are kind of mind-bending. It's not straightforward. It's all about, you know, messing with your opponent in a way that wins you the game. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, messing with your opponent is a very hard thing to predict. <laughs> uh, let's, let's go for the Gusta. I'm going to pay five for the champion. Mm. No fate. <laughs> Just a cash, cash five. Okay. All right. All right. All right. No big deal, no big deal. Um, I'm gonna pay one for the Whisper. Bide my time basically to see where you're gonna, if you're gonna invest in something else. Mm. Seven political stat? What is this, like a worm tongue? Is he like, I got I, the ear I, of the I, emperor I, I should have invested one. I yeah, made, put, a, one, made, one, a, made one, a calculated so. mistake. We don't, we don't care, uh, we're learning. Here's why, pass. Can't fit. <laughs> there you go. So you wanted three for some unforeseen reason. Can't imagine what that is. You can just put the gift giver in play though, right? <laughs> I definitely will, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so three for Kakita. And I'm gonna have to see if I want, I don't wanna invest any fate because then I won't have one for the gift giver. So unfortunately, I think I'm gonna try to have a good turn here. Uh, <laughs> I know, it's hard to imagine, right? Weird. And then uh, I will pay two for the gift giver. I'm gonna hold one fate potentially for that ability. And then, cause it's so threatening against you launching an attack against me. So uh, go to the dials. To the dials, Batman. And I gotta be so careful yeah, here. You're on, you're on edge here. The question is, do I like my, my stuff or not? All right, I'm gonna go one. I'm gonna try to keep you on the I bid four, All right, but I'm, I'm gonna react. I'm gonna play contingency plan to go down to a three. Come on. Yeah, so you get two. Take, take two. <laughs> You're like just all excited. Give him my honor. All right, so we'll draw. One card. <laughs> that would have changed things. Scary. Okay, now, worth <laughs> noting, everybody, that I'm at 12. 
honor after all of this and after all the honorable stuff, I'm I'm not even halfway to my twenty five. But I have been like win condition siphoning it. But I just don't think, at least out of the course set, we need a lot more support if twenty five honor is really going to be a thing. And maybe it's not really meant to be a, a win condition. It's meant for if your opponent's lazy. I think being careful about that is yeah fine. Definitely, you don't want that sit back and just gain honor deck. Please. All right, you ready for the dance? I'm ready. Let's dance. Man, this could just go sideways quickly. Let's just dance. All right, here's what I'm going to do, man. I'm going to pay three for the unassuming Yojimbo. <laughs> She's awesome. Side note. Kept to herself mostly. Mostly, yeah. So three costs. She has covert. That's going to be uh, important to keep the gift giver. That is there. that is correct. And it gives me, I mean, it gives me a second body that I could. That's true. Uh, the gift giver is actually a lesser problem now. What's that little ability there? While uh, this character participating in a political conflict, if I have more total skill than you, I can take an honor. Not gonna happen. Just okay. zero. All right. Um, let's do this. Yeah, but what now is the question. What now? Well, it's time to dance. You wanna use your uh, faction ability there? You want to save and be sneaky let's about just, it? No, let's just get it. I don't, I don't want to be sneaky about any of that stuff. <laughs> You're going to play around with a minus four honor card? All right. Uh, what I'm going to do is declare a void political here. You needed the money that bad. With the, no, I'm going to win right here. That's why I'm getting uh -huh. the money. Uh, with these two characters, and I will mm -hmm. use Covert um, to keep someone out. Let's keep the doji gift giver out. All right, gift giver is out. Let's take a look. You're doing a political? That's right. I figured you were balancing with that military. Plus five military. Yeah, there it is. And maybe, maybe this isn't the right tech, honestly. Maybe we're wrong about this. I mean, the hard part, if I'm playing like unicorn or dragon here, I know, look that's at your tough. military on the board. I think it's, it's scarce. But all right, so my, my current total strength is nine. Ugh. And beware of my champion's ability. Yeah. That's twice per round? Yeah, it's nuts. That's absurd. It's nuts. Absurd. Well, let's hold fast. Hope for the best. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, I've got to try to get everything in there, right? Mm hmm. I feel like this move I'm doing, by the way, feels so risky to me. Oh, man. I'm afraid it's gonna it's gonna pan out because I didn't didn't really get what I was hoping for. And honestly, maybe should have held away the crane or something to for this kind of a situation. But hey, that's why we we're here, see. right? All right. So you're defending with both characters. Yeah, I have the first action. first action. So I mean, the first thing I have to do is bow here, right? It's the only thing I know is gonna happen. Okay. All right, I am going to eight to six play Way of the Scorpion to dishonor there. there. All right. So I am at four total, and then you can potentially discard there. And I'm at eight. I would put it at three to eight, so that's still not quite enough. So that's worth something. Um, that champion is yeah, the chainsaw. Cray town. I mean, if you've got if you've got it, you've got it, right? Um, <laughs> hmm. I wish that gift giver was in. I will pass. All right, uh, I'll take an action to give you minus one, Beep. and then discard a zero, and you'll lose an honor there. Lost. Okay. And now we're at eight to three. Still not quite winning. But you can take her to four. That'd be. Four. Or take her to two, so you'd be one away. Does he have a way to get one strength with one fate in his pool? Uh, yes, <laughs> very likely. He does, Bob. Oh, that's very likely. Oh, what do I do? There's no out here. All right, I'll keep looking though. I'll pass. Keep <laughs> looking. Okay. Mm. All right, well, I think the craziest part of this champion is that he has the courtier keyword. He does. So I'm going to pay one for Outwit. She's a character with less uh, political strength than a courtier I have controlled. And yeah. send that character home. So I'll send the Whisperer home unless you have a trick. And now we're at eight to zero. Hmm. Well, let's look at this. Can I assassinate anybody? 
No. <laughs> okay. You're not a defending character. I don't have three for this political rival. And I don't need a good omen where I can get fate on one of my characters. So, <laughs> good game, That was Zach. wild. That is a good one. That was wild. Wow, what a showdown. So the champion really came through and, and swung it. Yeah, that's what you, last round when you broke this and he was face down, I got rid of him. I was like, yeah. oh man, he would have been so good. But the other thing that was, I think, important in this very moment was I was the first player. Mm -hmm. So I saw that I had the covert in my hand yeah, and I could get past one character and I also had the pay one, send a character home. So now I'm looking at two characters. Yeah, and thank, thank goodness I didn't just invest in one you know, if I'd had a, a turn where I just had my champion out too, thinking like, oh, you just covert past it and the game's right over. Yeah. Something of note is that I had two voice of honors the entire game. The cancel if you have more honored. And I simply, Didn't. between all of the dishonoring that was happening, I just could never find a situation where I was always equal with you. Like I had an honor yeah. to an honor <laughs> or no honor at all. So, you know, the this would have changed the tide even just one time during the game, canceling a, a critical effect. Like, if, if you had saved a Way of the Crane, mm -hmm. then this turn, your first action, before conflict, honor a character. Yep. And then this is on. Yeah. So you can cancel. And that and that is, there's such security there. And you, you gotta wonder, was it worth it to honor a character to break this province? Versus holding it for this turn, and then turning on these Voice of Honor uh, options. Because I know I'm going second, so I get the first action, I can honor a character. And then I have two cancels for whatever shenanigans you have. Well, and you could have even done the honoring of the character before the conflict mm -hmm. with the way of the crane. But I think it's, it really does show, for crane at least, how important honor is and honored characters because yeah. some of their most powerful effects do trigger off of that, that capacity. That is amazing. So what do you think about Scorpion? <sighs> I mean, uh, Scorpion is brutal, right? So the way of Scorpion, they can just dishonor a character, which is part of why you were having problems. Yeah. That's why we thought it would be kind of a head clashing kind of game. Because I imagine it's like Unicorn, for instance. Unicorn's doing their thing. Crane is honoring and doing their thing. And so you have kind of the optimized versions of both of those clans just not really getting each going at it, but they're not like, you know, in each other's face so much with the effects they're trying to trigger. Yeah. This um, is very much, we're both political, we're both courtiers, we're both looking to... We're doing the court games. To do the, the honor and dishonor. Yeah. And the, even the card I just played, Outwit. But I, I think, you know, cards that are really good in Scorpion to me are Forge, Edict, and I Can Swim. Um, oh, ability, I Can Swim is going to be the card in the core set that everybody, every non-Scorpion player hates the most. Yeah, and there are a couple things. You have to have a higher bid on the dial, mm -hmm. and you have to dishonor their character. Yeah. So it seems very conditional, but obviously you saw it last round. You had invested fate in a character, and I was able to just, not just, get rid, of the, twice. Not just get rid of the character, yeah. but I got rid of... You, that defender that that time, mm -hmm. right, or that attack, right? You're just canceling so it's much tough. in a single thing. And obviously the champion, that, that twice around, minus one, and then if there is zero political. But without covert, you know, the gift giver is like ready for it. Could have. So it's pretty cool that you do have tools and options available. I wonder if I should go heavier on the honor game, having played this match as it sits. Like if I had gone heavier air and fire, tried to dishonor your stuff, and really kind of get this as low as possible. I think Scorpion's gonna have a hard time over time playing this game correctly. Yeah, I yeah? think I think this is definitely the the wire that Scorpion has to walk, mm -hmm. which is I want my dial to be higher because of the even the I can swim, it requires this dial being higher. But the lower I get an honor, the riskier it is for that dial to be higher, right? Yeah. So and I'm also spending honor. Obviously, the, the stronghold is letting me get honor back for free as yeah. long as I'm lower than you. Yeah. So it incentivizes that. But it's kind of like playing with fire. It's yeah. like at some point, you're going to get burnt because you just were dishonorable. You were too, too pushing it too far. I'll tell you what, too. Crane feels like a great, um, like a great clan and deck to kind of get into up front. Because it's not, it's not particularly tricky or even complex. Playing it well, playing any of these clans well is going to be a complex task. But you have some protection against nonsense. You have a very clear kind of theme with honoring characters and doing political challenges. Um, so it feels just like a very good kind of baseline deck sure. that anybody could pick up and start to get a feel for the game. And I think their stronghold ability is one of the fundamentally one of the best. best, just straight up bow one character. And early on in early games, it's very easy to lose from not like from honor because yeah. you'll overbid on the dial or you'll just dishonor yourself out. So I don't think Crane's gonna ever do that. No, it's probably, it's very unlikely. Yeah. Crane losing an honor fight is unlikely. So yeah. it, it is a, pr a pretty good start. It's not as, I think Lion is a pretty good, just like 
baseline military attack. Yeah, they're Straight probably the, they're supposed to be the opposite of Crane, right? Yeah. Like they're kind of the the military version of Crane. But yeah, watch out for Scorpion. I mean, they are mean. Well, straight mean. Guys, if you are enjoying the Learning L5R series, then we have Covenant subscriptions for the game uh, that we'd like to tell you about. So this is basically, we will send you every pack for this game as it comes out. You literally sign up, uh, you put in your card details, that's all saved off site, so it's not you know uh, unsafe. And then we'll charge you whenever a pack's about to come out. Uh, you won't even have to worry about it. We'll send it right to you. It'll show up about a day after release usually and then you're constantly keeping up with the game. So we have a subscription for PAX and the Deluxe expansions. And we've also currently got a promotion running on our core set pre-orders. So if you're watching this before the game has come out, uh, then we're including tokens with those core sets. Check those out. We're also including those Sakura tokens throughout the entire first cycle, including the Deluxe expansions. Uh, so we'd really love to be your source for L5R, and it keeps this kind of stuff coming and allows us to do it. So thank you so much for watching, and. Uh, Crane and Scorpion. <laughs> Crane and Scorpion. Thank you guys so much for watching. More to come. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. We have plenty of L5R videos on the channel that you can catch. We also have an L5R subscription service. We'll be sending the Sakura token exclusively and for free with all core set pre-orders and box and pack subscriptions for the first cycle of Legend of the Five Rings. You can learn more about that on the website and until next time, keep playing.